What exactly is happening in the MBS market with pricing? Well, hi, Brian. It's good to talk to you again. Um, what's happening with pricing is uh, it's very low uh, is, is the, the bottom line. Uh, <laughs> we had basically two years uh, worth of lower interest rates, which causes refinancings. Uh, and so all of the mortgage rates that are outstanding uh, from the last two years are somewhere in the 2% range, 3% range, maybe low 4% range. But as you said, uh, mortgage rates have spiked. They're now close to 6%. And uh, for those that know fixed income, they know that yields and prices move in opposite directions. Uh, so the yield on the MBS security, which is a little bit lower than the, than the uh, uh, rate that the borrower gets, when those yields spike like that, prices go down. Um, and so the average dollar price of the mortgage market is now uh, close to 90 cents on the dollar. And the last time, wow. uh, the, yes, the last time mortgage prices were that low was in the, the mid 1980s. So what does that tell us? I mean, it sounds like there's obviously some sort of dislocation. Is there a liquidity issue in mortgage backed securities? There is a little bit of a liquidity issue because those coupons that were outstanding or those lower rates that were outstanding from the last two years, some of them are actually trading in the 83 cents in the dollar range, 85 cents in the dollar range. And so there's a lot of those outstanding. So from a, a market value standpoint or a market cap standpoint, there should not be a liquidity problem. But because those dollar prices are so low, and investors are still a little uneasy or, or a little concerned about what the Fed might do with their mortgage-backed securities portfolio, which, by the way, also owns those really low coupons. There's still a lot of uncertainty about pricing on that going forward. And if there's uncertainty about that on pricing, that feeds through into mortgage rates. Uh, and so the bottom line is we could see some continued volatility. 30-year uh, mortgage rates might fall, mm -hmm. say, a quarter of a point in a day or two, but then it might also turn around and go back up uh, by more than a quarter point the next few days. This is the kind of stuff that is so critically important. I know our audience, Walt, is probably watching or listening and thinking, well, I don't trade mortgage-backed securities. Why do I care? This is the kind of stuff that goes on under the hood – to correct me if I'm wrong, that does impact some people's ability, maybe on the margin, to get a loan. Does it not? I mean, pricing dislocations like this, to your point, will impact whether some big lender like Wells Fargo gives our viewers a mortgage. Exactly. Uh, well, let, first of all, let's remember that the mortgage market that is uh, guaranteed by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and Ginnie Mae, which is basically what we're talking about, is $8 trillion. So it's a huge market. Um, and so it, what happens in that market obviously does filter through. But it's more than just the mortgage rate. Uh, people, so a lot of people don't understand that mortgage-backed securities are in the portfolios that they own, whether they know it or not. If they own a general fixed income fund, for example, a lot of that will be in mortgage-backed securities as well as corporate securities. So it affects not only um, the mortgage rate that they get, but it also affects the value of their securities portfolios and their retirement accounts, et cetera. So it has kind of a double impact. What the Fed's doing now in the fight against inflation has kind of a double impact on consumers. Very, very quickly, Walt, 20 seconds. Does this have any larger impacts like 2008, or is it totally different now? It's different now because 2008 was a credit issue. People were concerned about people actually making their mortgage payments. There's no concern about that now because, as we all know, the housing market is still quite strong. There's a lot of equity in the housing market. This is all a duration issue. This is all an issue about the, yeah. the level of interest rates relative to the coupons. So it's less, yeah. it's less pernicious than 2008, certainly.